Welcome back to the Dad Skills Car Channel. And today we've got a brochure for what would be in the UK a very, very rare car. And I don't think I've ever seen one of these on the streets of the UK. And it is a Mitsubishi Cordia. But over here, it's called something like Mitsubishi Colt Cordia. And then we've got the models. Now the only reason I know about this car is because I had one of these whilst on my gap year in New Zealand. So I bought one of these cars, it was about $1,100. And I traveled around in that until the cam belt snapped. And when I had to just leave it there and tell someone and they came and got it and, and that was that. So here we have a brochure from the UK and then we've got the dealer there down in Wimbledon, the phone number, Colt Car Company, Sirencester, Mitsubishi Motors, designed and printed in Sirencester. So let's go back to the front. So here we have the front view of this very, it's an odd looking car. It is an odd looking car. There's no view of this of which you'd say, oh yeah, that's a stunning looking car. It's a bit of an odd looking car. So let's start with the first page, the exciting new Colt Cordia range, which includes a naturally aspirated 1600, manual automatic, plus an exhilarating 1600 turbo. Creates a totally new concept in sporting coupes. Exciting, practical to own. It offers highly competitive performance with outstanding handling, low fuel consumption, stylish interior, a stylish exterior, high standard, remarkably low drag coefficient of 0.35, which compared to some other cars, isn't that low, really. Concealed drip channels with smooth leading edge doors and wrap over windscreen pillars. Smooth airflow below the line of the tire tread coupled with the duct tail across the rear of the car is also effective in reducing the air drag. Cordia features a power to weight ratio which would frankly be impossible a few years ago. This is the result of constructing a special high tensile steel, thinner than conventional steel, but stronger. So the Cordia 1600 and the Turbo both feature Colt's super shift system, giving you in effect four speed times two transmission. Alongside the main gear lever, there's another, another lever, which when pulled back provides a four gear range for economy motoring. Oh, I never noticed that on mine when I had one. And when pushed forward, releases the power for performance motoring, fast acceleration. And you operate the super shift lever by depressing the clutch in the normal way and moving the lever backwards and forwards to any position, any time. Well, I never knew that. And there we go. And there's a couple of pictures. And here we have some more in-depth info. And we've got a picture of the, the turbo engine. Inbound traffic, squawk ID. Stand by for the Mitsubishi Turbos. The Mitsubishi Turbos, an exciting range of turbocharged vehicles for Australia. From the high-performance Starion Turbo to the adventurous four-wheel drive Pajero Turbo Diesel. And now, introducing the sporty aerodynamic Cordia, Mitsubishi's newest turbo. Sitting in the driving seat, you will be impressed by the design of the wide instrument panel set in the ultra low fascia, constant readout fuel gauge. So when I had one of these, uh, it would have probably been... Ooh, 15 years old maybe and the interior struck me as quite old Japanese design and that was just 15 years later the turbocharger is fitted between the carburetor and the engine in other words the carburetor is not turbocharged designed specifically for this engine it's an ideal match extracting the best results peak power is boosted by 30% and peak torque by 26% Powerful braking system for the discerning driver. And there's much more. Sooner or later, you'll drive a Colt. Why not a Cordia? That's interesting. So in the UK, I don't know this because I can't really remember at the time, but Mitsubishi Colt, it seems like in the UK at this time, we called them Colt. And then what we've come to love about these old brochures is we've got this fold out now with angles and perspectives and things taken. And here we have Almost looks like an eight track, but that must be for um, a tape player. And then we've got the steering wheel. We've got quite a basic but useful layout. We've got the rev counter, 
a couple of dials this side, a couple of dials that side, and how fast we're going. We've then got some basic, basic radio. Then we've got some controls there for the radio. And then all our heater controls and things. Vents look in decent places. And then we've got some quite nice seats, nice looking seats, very, uh, very 80s style. And then we've got the gear stick. And then we've got this thing that I didn't have on mine, which is this economy mode, an extra gear stick. Interesting. And vents on the side that I didn't know they did that. They obviously pop out when they think they need to. And then we've got a bit of a plusher interior. That looks really nice, actually, that interior. That's on the automatic. I quite like the look of those suits. Who knows? Take Mitsubishi Cordia, our sporty hatchback, with special performance features like front air dam, spoiler, side sill extensions, and form-fitting bucket seats. Priced well below Toyota Celica, Honda Prelude, and Nissan 200SX. Now, that's a big difference. The competition just can't stand up. Mitsubishi, suddenly the obvious choice. Compare Cordia today at your Mitsubishi Motors dealer. And then we've got no mention of Mitsubishi again, but it's all Colt. Colt Cordia Turbo. Colt with the Mitsubishi sign. It's difficult to pinpoint a place on this car that you'd say, oh yeah, that is stunning. The back looks okay. The side is odd with this sort of flat uh, wheel arch over this wheel. The front is okay. And then we've got a scoop there that tells you there's something going on underneath the bonnet. And then so finally on the back there, we've got a list of features that um, either come as standard or maybe you can tick and say that that's the one you want reinforced transmission four speed and two manual yeah nice the tires are a bit wider 185 by 70 by 13s side turbo stripes stereo radio and cassette player right okay so it is a cassette player that's interesting how it's in a separate place to the actual radio voltmeter sunroof floor needle punch carpet and then we've got some specs fuel consumption, and then we've got some other dimensions and things with the car. So there we go, that's another interesting, interesting snapshot in time of a car that will be very rare or nigh on impossible to find in the UK now. So if you enjoyed that, YouTube will recommend a very similar video to this on another interesting vehicle uh, in a moment. But until the next time, that's it from the Daskals Car Channel. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. It's another Mitsubishi.